It takes a small brick to form a wall. It takes four walls to form a room and many rooms to form a house. Similarly, it takes tiny cells to form a tissue. It takes different tissues to form an organ and many organs to form an organism. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to Identify the different types of animal tissues. Describe the different types of epithelial tissue. Describe the different types of connective tissue. Describe the different types of muscular tissue. And describe the components of nervous tissues. Animals move around in search of food, shelter and mates. They consume more energy compared to plants. So, unlike plants, most animal tissues are living tissues. The animal body is made up of different types of tissues. Epithelial tissue connective tissue, muscular tissue and nervous tissue. Let's look at each tissue in detail. Epithelial tissues form a protective layer for organs. They act as a barrier to keep the different body systems separate. Epithelial tissues are of different types depending on their shape and function. Let's first look at squamous epithelium. Squamous epithelium has flat and thin cells. These cells group together and do not have intercellular spaces between them. They are found in the outer layer of the skin, lining the cavities of ducts, blood vessels and the chambers of the heart and provide mechanical support. These pillar-like cells are called columnar epithelium. Columnar epithelial cells are cylindrical. They are found in the lining of the stomach and intestines and facilitate the movement of nutrients across the epithelial barrier. This is glandular epithelium. When columnar epithelial cells modify as gland cells and secrete substances at the epithelial surface, they form glandular epithelium. These are found in the sweat glands and tear glands and produce secretions. This is the lining of the respiratory tract where ciliated epithelium tissue is found. These tissues are actually columnar cells with hair-like projections called cilia. Cilia are motile and this movement pushes the mucus forward into the nasal tract to clear it. These cubical cells belong to cuboidal epithelium tissue. This tissue is found in the lining of kidney tubules, salivary glands and thyroid glands where it provides mechanical support. Stratified epithelium may have the same or different kinds of epithelial cells. 
cells line up one over the other to form stratified epithelium. It is found in places of wear and tear like the epidermis of the skin, lining of the mouth cavity and esophagus. This is a network of roads that connects different places to each other. Similarly, the animal body also has its own network of tissues that connects different organs and tissues. It is the connective tissue. Connective tissues are of different types depending on their shape and functions. Let's take a detailed look at each of them. Blood is a type of fluid connective tissue. Blood has a straw colored liquid part called plasma, which contains water, proteins, salts, and hormones. Blood cells suspended in the plasma include red blood corpuscles or RBCs white blood corpuscles or WBCs and platelets. Blood flows within blood vessels and transports gases, digested food and hormones to different parts of the body. Bone is another connective tissue. Bone cells are embedded in a hard matrix composed of calcium and phosphorus compounds. It is a hard porous tissue that anchors the muscles and protects the internal organs. Take a close look at these tissues that pack and bind various organs. These are fibrous connective tissue. They include ligaments that connect two bones. Ligaments are tough and elastic and provide strength and flexibility. Tendons connect bones to the muscles. Tendons are tough and non-elastic and provide great strength and limited flexibility. Another type of connective tissue is cartilage. Cartilage has widely spaced cells suspended in a matrix of proteins and sugars. It is found in the nose, ears, rings of the trachea and at the end of long bones to give flexibility. Take a look at these irregular shaped cells. They are areolar connective tissue that fills the space inside organs and supports them. Such tissues are found between the skin and muscles and around blood vessels and nerves. Here's a look at the adipose connective tissue. Cells of this tissue are filled with fat globules. It is found below the skin and around internal organs like kidneys and acts as an insulator. Animals can move because of the elasticity and flexibility of muscular tissues. Muscular tissues have elongated cells called muscle fibers. Muscular tissues are of three kinds striated muscles, unstriated muscles, and cardiac muscles. Striated muscles are cylindrical unbranched and multinucleated. Each muscle fiber has dark bands alternating 
with light bands called striations. These muscles help us move our limbs and lift weights at will. So, striated muscles are called voluntary muscles. They are found in our limbs, body wall, face and neck. See how the food is pushed down to the elementary canal by the contraction and relaxation of muscles. This process is done by unstriated muscles which are spindle shaped with one nucleus. They do not have striations and are called smooth muscles. They are also beyond our control and are called involuntary muscles. They are found in the iris of the eye, urinary bladder and bronchi of the lungs. That leaves only one type of muscle tissue, cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles are branched cylindrical fibers with a single nucleus. The contraction and relaxation of these involuntary muscles cause heartbeats. Do you know what these boys are doing? They are trying to converse over a telephone that they have made. The function of the wire is to transmit information. Similarly, our body also has tissues that transport information from one part of the body to another. These are called nerve tissues. Let's take a closer look at nervous tissues. Nervous tissues have elongated cells called neurons. Each neuron consists of a cell body with a nucleus and cytoplasm called cyton and elongated hair-like extensions called dendrites. One of the dendrites, called axon, is very long. Neurons join end-to-end -to, -end to form nerve fibers. These nerves are richly supplied with blood. Nervous tissues are found in the brain, spinal cord and nerves. The combination of nerve and muscle tissue enables man to move rapidly in response to stimuli.